Hi kids, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about this County Money Coins Only Valentine's Day themed room that I have for you. Um, I noticed some of you are struggling with coin identification and counting coins, so I wanted to talk just a little bit briefly about that. So first of all, when you count money, you start with your quarter dollars or your 25 cent pieces, or their um, quarters. Quarter meaning you take four of them, it's one quarter of a dollar, one fourth of a dollar. Those are worth 25 cents. So you have to be able to skip count by 25 in order to count quarters. If you do not know how to do that, you'll need to write down on scrap paper or a whiteboard or in a, in a notebook uh, how to skip count by 25. And I will give you a little cheat sheet for that in a minute. Another thing is you have to be able to identify nickels and those are the five cent things. Those are here, this is a nickel. Take a look at it, it has, um, the guy has like a little ponytail in his hair there. Mm. Uh, it says, in God we trust. So that is a nickel. They're smooth around the edges, unlike quarters, which are bumpy, okay? And quarters say quarter dollar. Then we have a dime over here. These are also bumpy. Quarters are the only ones, besides I think pennies that might be smooth. I have to look. Um, these are dimes, and dimes are worth 10 cents. Even though nickels are bigger than dimes, nickels are worth 5 cents, quarters are worth 25 Dimes are worth 10. Then you have pennies, which are copper color or like a brown color. Those are worth one. One penny is worth one. So that would be one, two. So on this page here, we have one quarter here, a quarter, that's 50 cents. Then we have a dime, that's 10 cents. So one, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, they're kind of everywhere, aren't they? I'm having trouble counting them. So when I assigned this to you, I made this assignment so that you could um, be able to move these pieces around. So let's take a look at the first slide. They're kind of everywhere, right? You have to first be able to identify the coins to be able to do this. I, by identify them means you know a quarter is a quarter and you have to know the value. Then you have to be able to skip count. So I see that I have lots of quarters here. And what I've done is I've I made this so I can move these around like this. All right? I made I when I assigned this, I made it so you can kind of move them around too. Don't delete them, just move them. So I grouped all of the quarters together and then I grouped the dimes together, which are worth 10 cents. And then I put the nickels together and the pennies. So I'm going to pause the video and show you my skip counting cheat sheet if you need that. That way you can uh, use that while you're counting. Okay, so I'm back and remember quarters are worth 25 cents. So um, it's 25, 50, 75, 100, 100 the dollar. So when you put one, two, three, four quarters together, you get $1. Uh, two quarters would be 25.50, and if you'll notice, what I have here is I have $1 here and then 50 cents here. So this is $1.50. Next, you're going to move on to the next biggest coin we have, and which is these dimes here. So I have $1.50, $1.60, $1.70. I have to be able to count by 10, right? $1.50, $60, $70, $1.75, $1.80, $1.90, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95, $1.95
shift four and then a dollar of nine. Let me double check my math again. So 25, 50, 75, 85, 95, $1, $1, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. $1, 9. Then you would go to the next slide and continue doing the same thing. You can arrange these coins however you need to move them around. Just don't delete them because um, you'll need all, every to count each coin. Remember, start with the quarters first. If you need to write this little cheat sheet down, that is fine. Uh, practice counting by 25s, 10s, and 5s. It's very important that you know how to skip count. It's on every single agenda, every single day. All right, kids, good luck.